Hey adventure seekers, get ready to dive into the ultimate camping experience in a Tesla Model Y. From setting up a custom bed frame mattress, sleeping cozily in the Tesla to cooking mouth-watering food, I've got it all covered. So guys, buckle up and let's embark on this electrifying journey together. All right, it's time to load up the Tesla. I put a lot of gears in the front. We are gonna take our bikes. So we're gonna load up the bikes on the back. So I love how spacious Tesla Model Y is. So right now, this car is fully loaded and packed. So now it's time to hit the road. So we are heading towards the Pinery Provincial Park. So how far is the campground? About uh, 45 minutes. Oh, that's not far away. And it's a beautiful drive. Our campsite is close to Lake Huron and is located in the Pinery Provincial Park. So this is very close to Grand Bend Beach. We just reached the Pinery Provincial Park. We are going to check in. So the top one there is going to go on the dashboard. The bottom one will go on the post once you get to your site. Okay. All right. Thank you. We are heading towards the campsite. So here's our spot. So this is a really good spot with good privacy. As soon as we reached the campsite, we unloaded the bikes and a few things from the car and then we plugged the Tesla to charge. Alright folks, it's time for a little chat with my husband, Ansi. He's going to spill the beans on how we charge our Tesla like pros during our camping adventure. So what kind of charger is this? So this is called the mobile connector and it comes uh, or it came with our car but the new ones don't come with the mobile connector you have to buy it separately now this is the one that you have to buy in order to connect to a, a campsite this is the 30 amp and the standard for this is it's called tt30 so that's the one you have to use and this is where it ends basically it looks like it's charging now so i don't want to disconnect but it looks like this so this is a 50 amp adapter and it plugs in here and right now it's connected to the 30 amp and 30 amp is not sold by uh, Tesla this is TT30 and you have to buy it from a company called AC Works you can buy it from AC Works website or they also sell it on Amazon so I bought it from Amazon and then I have a 30 amp 50 foot extension cable that goes all the way I'll show you how the outlet looks. That's long. Yeah, it's uh, 50 foot. So that's the uh, 30 amp, which is connected to the 30 amp. And then this uh, campsite also has a 50, 15 amp, which means you can- One five, right? Yeah, yeah. one five, 15 amp, which means you can do your cooking appliances. Now there's also another 15 amp. This is for the neighbor neighboring site. And this is the 30 amp. You can see the inside, basically it has uh, three prongs mm -hmm. yeah and then some sites may have 50 amps 50 amps is when you need this it has four prongs and this will be the charge fastest you can charge at a campsite if you have a 50 amp and the reason for that is at 50 amp this is a 240 volt so it will be charging your Tesla at about 36 kilometers an hour whereas this one only charges at 15 or 16 kilometers an hour because it's 110. Right, so right now it's charging at 15 yeah. kilometers. And this one, the standard for this, this is, if anyone is looking to buy this, this is called NEMA 1450. Um, what else? That's it. Oh, that's cool. And uh, so we have some kitchen appliances, so we have connected that to, this is 15, right? Yeah. 15 amps. So we have our coffee machine, air fryer, grill instant power everything can be connected to 15 amp so it, it's only charging at 15 kilometers per hour what is that so you can look at this uh, right. because it's it's 110 sometimes you find yeah uh there could be a 240 volt but most of the standard rv sites they have 110 volt 30 amp and uh, uh okay this one 24 24 amps yeah amps. because the outlet only has 30 amps Mm -hmm. And for safety, Tesla drops it down to 24. There you have it, folks. Charging the Tesla Model Y during our camping trips is a breeze. So here is the sub trunk. So we have the cooler here and the water.
We have 10 liters of water here. Look at that. This is so That's cool. Heavy. Let me help you with that. We are going to set up the Tesla for sleeping. So first we are going to put the mattress. So let's do that. So my hubs built a custom bed frame and we are going to put the mattress on top of that. So I'm going to ask him, so why did you build a bed frame? Well, for two reasons, right? So one is to make it even and second is to take advantage of the extra space here and make it stable. So we're going to start. So we have a lot of stuff in the sub trunk. There's a lot of space in Tesla, right? The second sub trunk. Oh, so we have the first part. sub trunk. Oh, this is the one. This is one I. This is the one I built. Oh, looks good. So it goes here. It's the frame, and it goes in nicely like that. And then basically, I'm reusing mm -hmm. the, the the base of what came with Tesla. And that's it. So I, it sits, it raises it, and then I can have one more. So basically, we're gonna place that on top of the sub trunks, right? Yeah. So these are called the bed frame. Yeah. Oh, okay. The one, the, yeah, the frames that I. The made. frames. Okay. So and then I can go. And you covered this with what is what material is this? Basically, drop cloth. So this is wood, right? Yeah, it's wood, wood. covered with drop cloth. This looks good. Yeah. Wow. And then you just do this. So now you can see it's already even. And right. now you can see that one needs to be even now, so I have to make another one. So you made three. Oh, that... Four, actually. You have four frames. So let's go this. Wow. And then you have one more. One more. That goes here. Ooh, looks good. Look at this. It's you know, straight and flat and even. And we still got all the space. Yeah, the sub trunk. You can, right? you can still access the sub trunk, mm -hmm. so we can still access the. Oh yeah, that that is cooler. awesome. Look at this. And the the second sub trunk here, all accessible. Okay. Yeah, if you had put something on top, we wouldn't yeah, be able if you to permanently fix it. Then you wouldn't. Yeah, be able to so access it. this is awesome. So now, so now we we have design. a lot of stuff uh, in the two sub trunks. Wow, this looks awesome. So the highlight of this Tesla camping is now the bed frame. <laughs> so it looks flat, even, and the mattress. So we have the mattress over there. It goes on top of this bed frame. So the next we are gonna put that. So this is a three-fold mattress. Yeah. Is that heavy? No. Yeah, it's, it's kind of lightweight, not that heavy. So this is the perfect uh, length, right? Yeah. Threefold. And it's six inches? Yeah. There we wow. Go. Look at so that. So this is six <laughs> inches thickness? Yeah. And then now uh, it's time to set it up. So you can still access all the stuff. Here. Right, yeah. So our mattress is on top of the bed frame. Look at this guys, we transformed the sleek Tesla into a camping haven. Thanks to the skills and creativity of my man, we now have a custom built bed frame that revolutionizes our camping experience. Let's 
After setting up the mattress, my man definitely needs a power smoothie. So he's making it. We even brought our magic bullet with How's us. Your smoothie. Mm. <laughs> the so best good. smoothie in the world. I'm so tired and so it's so good. <laughs> One of the best parts of camping is exploring the great outdoors. So we went for a biking adventure. This is Lake Huron and we are just enjoying the breeze and the waves. I saw this woodpecker pecking the wood. This was the first time I'm seeing a woodpecker up close. This is beyond amazing. Wow, what a determination. And I saw my hubs taking the video of this guy. Again, I had to stop. I spotted a wild turkey. First, I thought it's a peacock, but that turned out to be a turkey. After two hours of biking, we are pretty exhausted and super hungry and also it's dinner time so I'm gonna grill chicken. So I brought this awesome indoor electric grill with me and here are the marinated chicken. I marinated the chicken in the morning in my kitchen. So I'm gonna throw the chicken on this grill. So this is a very sleek and compact indoor grill and perfect for camping. I had to grill the chicken for almost 35 minutes and it's ready so it got that beautiful grill marks. So dinner is ready. So grilled chicken with the Thai style salad. So this is with sweet chili vinaigrette. Ooh, and look at the chicken. It's really good. At the inside, mm -hmm. so good, and I love the marinade. Mm. In this section, I'm going to show you guys how to set the camp mode in Tesla. Go here, camp mode, do the temperature, and then temperature setting. Yeah, and then it'll come up. You can select mm -hmm. camp mode right over here. Okay, okay, that's it. And then you can keep the car at whatever temperature you want. Now we have it set to 21. Let's see, 21 degrees Celsius. And the car is charging now. So we don't have to worry about depleting the battery. Okay, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do go with the newest mode. The newest mode, now if you do the camp mode, it's actually good if we're not plugged in anywhere because it disables your sentry mode mm -hmm. and security alarm and walk away lock and everything. So what I can do is if I want the sentry mode, I can see keep, which basically keeps the temperature, but now the sentry mode is enabled. Like, now you can also control it using your yeah. phone. Okay. So I, and you have to disable passive authentication because your car is, your phone is inside the car. Uh, it thinks you're nearby and it automatically will unlock the car. So if you want to keep the car locked when you're sleeping, you want to dis you want to just disable the passive authentication. So which means you have to uh, use your phone and hit the unlock button. So here, you have to hit the unlock button to unlock the vehicle. It wouldn't automatically unlock now. And you can do your settings even from here. So here, you see the camp mode, dog mode, and yeah, so we're gonna use just the keep mode for now. So where's the keep mode? Uh, it doesn't show here, but basically 
you just leave cabin overheat protection on i don't know i don't think it's you can select uh, keep mode from the phone you have to select it from the screen okay but i like the keep mode for the reasons i explained perfect yes so tesla cam mode is on okay so the car should be locked it is charging and because we have the ac running i think mm -hmm. it's only charging at 11 kilometers an hour which is right. fine so seven hours we're going to be sleeping for at least seven hours so we should have a fully charged vehicle in the morning so here we have netflix disney plus or youtube let's say we're gonna watch let's see if you want to watch disney plus oh we already watched it <laughs> it's not oh really? oh yeah okay maybe we'll do civil war just for the avengers uh, avengers yeah I like avengers. Civil war. okay avengers there it is <sighs> that's the avengers Good night. From Tesla cam mode. This is fun. Sweet dreams. Fun adventure. Sweet dreams. Good morning, guys. We slept well and we woke up a bit late, so we were pretty exhausted. So it's time for our coffee fix. I'm so glad I brought the Nespresso coffee machine with me so we can enjoy hot espresso in the woods. Doing my coconut sugar. Here's espresso for you. So our Tesla camping experience has come to an end and we are heading home. In this section, I'm going to share all the Tesla camping accessories I have used that will enhance your camping experience. I'll share all the links in the description. You will need a three-fold memory foam mattress. So this is the mattress I've shown in the video available on Amazon. Tesla mobile connector. If this didn't come with your Tesla, you have to get it from the Tesla website. 30 amps charging adapter. This is called TT30 by AC Works available on Amazon. If the campsite has 50 amps, you should get the NEMA 1450 adapter. 30 amps 50 foot extension cord. In campsites, the power outlet will be far away from where we park the car. I would highly recommend taking a coffee machine. I love my Nespresso Essenza Mini. It's very compact and convenient. If you're cooking in the campsite, you will definitely need a camping cooler to store cheese, meat and eggs. Here's the indoor grill and air fryer that I've shown in the video and I cooked delicious grilled chicken in it. So not just indoors, we can also take this while camping. And I love this water container, so we'll have ample amount of water for cooking, for making coffee, smoothies and drinking. From my Tesla camping experience, let me share some pros and cons with you guys. Here are the pros. Number one, we stayed cool and refreshed throughout the night. So thanks to Tesla's reliable air conditioning system. Number two, the custom built bed frame proved to be a game changer. It provided a very comfortable sleeping surface and the mattress felt very comfy. It was flat and we had a good night's sleep. Number three, we were thrilled with the charging options available for our Tesla. We never had to worry about running out of charge. Here are some of the cons about Tesla camping, space constraints. It's essential to pack light when camping in a Tesla as space is limited. Number two, sleeping in the Tesla is indeed an unique experience. However, rolling over comfortably can be a bit challenging when two people are sleeping. So it's not quite the same as we sleep in our own beds at home. Sleeping in a Tesla for a night is awesome. I don't think I can sleep in a Tesla for more than a night. Number three, bug barrel. This is with any camping adventure, we have to deal with the bugs and mosquitoes. So it's very crucial to keep the doors closed at all times. 
Finally, I wanted to share a few tips with you guys if you're planning for Tesla camping. Pack light. It's important to prioritize essentials and avoid overpacking and always have a checklist. So I have created a detailed camping checklist. It's on my blog, tazneen.com. I'll post a link in the description below. Check that out. It will come in handy. Number two, take mosquito repellents with you. When camping, we'll definitely encounter bugs and mosquitoes. So it's good to apply mosquito repellents. From my experience, one of the ways to prevent the mosquitoes and bugs from sneaking in and buzzing around is to get into the car before it gets dark. You can watch a movie or TV show and enjoy the unique experience camping in a Tesla. That's a wrap guys. Thanks for joining us on this wild ride. If you have done Tesla camping, do let us know your experience. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, happy camping and keep exploring the world with a spark of electrifying adventure.